bottom statement and Jeremy Hunt will be hoping that his sums add up. Rishi Sunak loves to make sure his spreadsheet is correct. But a lot has changed over the last couple of months, let alone since the spring budget. And this is down to increased tax receipts and lower interest rates than previously were part of the OBR forecast. This means the Chancellor has more fiscal headroom to play with. Some estimates think maybe up to £25 billion. This has got a lot of excitement that there could be something for the right wing of the Conservative Party in the form of tax cuts. Inheritance tax, perhaps, or indeed a cut to the headline rate of income tax. Well, that seems less likely. Far more likely is that the efforts are focused on the levels of income at which various tax rates are paid. There will also be a focus on business investment, with full expensing of capital and equipment being allowed to be done all in one go. That was a temporary measure introduced earlier this year. It will be extended potentially or even made permanent. On the flip side, to try and make all of the sums add up, and this key fiscal rule to get debt falling as a proportion of GDP by five years time, there will be tweaks made to things like uh, what benefits claimants are entitled to, to how much they will uprate the pension, the state pension, and also uprate other benefits. There will be an awful lot of tweaks going on and the devil will be in the detail, but there is a lot of discontent rising up within the Tory ranks as the government is polling so badly, back down towards those levels of a year ago. One poll putting them at around 21% of the public, compared with 19% in the aftermath of the Liz Truss debacle. So, there will be a lot to play for, and the devil will be in the detail, but we would expect that the sums will add up, and there will be a little bit of a giveaway on the one side, but a little bit of taking back on the other.